All right, this is a video to cover the website section of your dashboard. Now this is gonna be a little bit bigger and more involved, but this is the fun part. This is where things start getting really, really exciting. So after you've added a bunch of sites, you will see screenshots for them here, but now it's time to start organizing your blogs so that when you wanna work on them or update plugins or themes or whatever, you can do it in bulk and you can do it very, very quickly. And the way to do that is through tagging your sites. And if you hover over these little tags, on any of the top right of your little windows, uh, you'll see manage tags. So what you can do is click on that and then you're gonna start creating tags. And typically for each site, I like to create three tags. And those would be tag one would be the type of site. Tag two would be the login page to the registrar of the site and tag three would be the web host or vice versa, the web host and the registrar. So um, what we're gonna do is create a couple tags. So let's say we had money sites, okay. So we'll just call it money and we'll color that green, okay? And then we'll save that tag and you'll see it show up here. And then we're gonna create a new tag and possibly you have PBN sites that you wanna manage. We'll just color those orange. And then maybe you work with some clients, okay? So you're gonna say client sites and we'll color those blue. And then maybe you even wanna tag your SERP tech builds. Maybe you're managing a lot of SERP tech style sites. So we'll color those, uh, we'll just color those white, okay? So we'll save those. And so those are our four, like say types of sites. But now we're also gonna add a couple tags for say our web hosts. Let's say for uh, just the sake of speed, we're working with a couple of web hosts. Obviously, uh, supremacy hosting would be one of them and we can color that any color really we can color it yellow okay and then what i would do is actually grab the login url to the actual login page for your hosting account with supremacy hosting and paste that in there so i'm going to click save on there and now you can see it when we hover over it um, it's actually a live link so we have supremacy hosting i'm going to create another hosting tag Okay, so maybe you worked a lot with HostGator. So we're gonna type in HostGator here. Okay, and then we're gonna keep it yellow because we want all our hosting tags to be yellow. And that'll just help us discern very easily which our hosts are. And then once again, we'll supply the URL to our hosting login. Okay, and save that tag. And then finally, we're gonna do our registrars tag. And let's say we work with Namecheap, obviously, since we're doing a lot of SERP textile builds, or um, you know, you can get a lot of good cheap names at namecheap.com. And maybe we'll make those red, okay? So then I'm gonna supply the lo exact login to the Namecheap, um, the Namecheap site. So I'm gonna save that. And then we'll do one more for name.com is another popular uh, registrar. So I'm gonna use name and we'll keep it red because now all registrar tags are gonna be red and we'll supply the URL to the login and we'll click save. So now you can see we have the types of sites and then we have the registrars in reds and the hostings in yellow. Okay, and we'll just click save those changes. Now for your sites, what you can do after you've created tags and created URLs if you wish is just hover over the tag and supply your three tags per site. So let's say THDOM was a PBN okay and we registered it uh, or we're hosting it with supremacy hosting and we registered it at name.com those would become the tag set for thdom now i could click save changes and you can see that those tags are all now there and the nice thing is that because we supplied the login url for supremacy hosting if you just click on this it'll actually take you straight to the login of supremacy hosting or whatever url you specify so you don't have to just do this for hosts and hosting you can do that for whatever you want um, it can be any url you like so that's how you manage and set up tags uh, on a single site basis but what you can also do is if you click on switch view you'll actually have an entire list of all your sites here and you can manage them in bulk. So let's say our SERP tech builds, we obviously know our follicular Miracle Pro and expert DUI attorneys. We would check those off and you would see they would become selected websites over here on the right. And then what we can do is click on tags and we can say these are SERP tech builds and they are hosted, um, they're the name cheap, or sorry, the, um, the hosting was supremacy hosting and SERP tech was the type and name cheap was the registrar. So you can add those tags to those websites. You would click the blue button here 
and then, then it would successfully apply those tags for you. So now when you click back over to your switch view button, you can see that those two websites, Expert DUI Attorneys and Follicular Miracle Pro, now have those tags set up in bulk. So you are able to, once you have your tags set up, manage your sites in bulk. So uh, six pack abs for men, let's just say that was a client site and we registered it at name and it was at HostGator. We could save that and then Gold Investor Guide, let's just say that that was one of our money sites Okay, and that was hosted with Supremacy, and it is um, registered with Namecheap. Okay, so you can do that and click Save Changes. And now you'll notice all of your sites are tagged. So now when you wanna filter sites and just look at certain sites, what you can actually go do is click your tag button and say, all right, I only wanna look at my client sites. You can click that tag, and now it'll only load um, any sites that it finds the client tag on. So, or for instance, you only wanna look at your PBNs, okay? And that'll load just your PBNs. The other options for tags that we also have, because when you're adding, you know, maybe hundreds of sites um, and you're forgetting to tag certain sites, you can actually click um, not tagged or deactivated. And these are static tags, meaning they're always gonna be there um, just for your, you know, just ease of use and ease of function with the software. Uh, let's, for instance, delete some of these tags. So six packs, uh, abs for men. What we'll do is we'll get rid of the three tags that are there. We'll save the changes. Okay, we'll go back to our websites. And you'll notice that this one doesn't have any tags. Now imagine if there were hundreds of sites in here and you'd forgot to tag this one, the easy way to find it is to go ahead and click on not tagged. And then there you would see that six pack abs for men comes up. Then you could actually manage that tag. So whatever it was, um, it was probably a money site, and it was hosted with Supremacy Hosting and registered with Namecheap. Okay, you can add your tags, um, and then it will um, save your tags for you really, really quickly. That's a quick way to find what you've already missed tagging. And then if, as sites become deactivated for whatever reason, you can easily see which ones are deactivated by just clicking on this tag and no sites are actually de deactivated right now, so none will show up. So that's how you can bulk um, manage with tags and how you set up tags. And next in the website, I wanna show you um, managing or um, how to manage bulk plugins. Okay, so once again, you're gonna cl click on switch view and what you can do now is if you wanna work with a group of websites, let's say, um, you only want to work with PBNs. What you can do is select your tag here. Okay, I only want to work with PBNs. It'll load just your PBNs. Once again, you'll select the PBN and it'll load THDOM as your only P PBN. Um, if you had more here, you could use this green arrow to select all of them and it would load all your PBNs. Then from this screen, it'll show you what themes are installed across all your PBNs, okay? and you can either activate them, deactivate them, delete them, whatever. Um, you'll see the ones that are activated. So for instance, we're only looking at one site right now, and this one site does have all these themes loaded, um, but the active one is 2015. You can see it's highlighted in blue activated. So um, you can delete different themes if you wanna just clean up your blogs, that's fine. Um, so this is a way to bulk manage um, your themes and your plugins just like tags. Now let's say for instance on your PBN you found a plugin that you really, really liked and that you wanted to apply to all your PBNs. Once again, you could just select your tag, choose PBN. Once the site's loaded, you could click select all. It would bring the list of sites that you're actively working on over here, okay? Then you could click on plugins and say, you know, well, first it's gonna show you the list of all the plugins that are installed on this entire list of sites. Okay, and then you can either activate, deactivate them. Once again, you can tell what's active because it will show you if it's activated um, or not. Okay, but then what you can do is you can actually upload plugins. So let's say for instance, you really liked a certain plugin uh, for your PBNs. You can actually search the WordPress repository for any plugin. So for instance, if you wanted AMP for whatever reason, um, you could search for AMP and this will search the WordPress repository and once the plugins load, you would select the AMP plugin and then you would click install and that would install that plugin to all the active websites that you have on the right side. The other thing that you can do is actually load plugins from uh, your own favorite plugins. Um, so to get plugins into this list, what you would do is under your settings tab, and I'll go over this more in more detail on another video. 
what you would actually do is click on settings and go to my plugins and themes. And from here, you could upload your own favorite plugins. Now, these can be plugins that you've downloaded from the WordPress repository, or it can be stuff that you've you bought and paid for, and you're hosting them on your computer right now. Well, what you can do is actually upload them to this drive, and then they'll always be available for you to upload to other sites. You can also do it with themes. You can search, um, you can, if you have purchased themes, you can upload them here. If you have certain themes that you like from WordPress, you can download them and then upload that theme here and be able to bulk activate them on the websites tab. So I'm just gonna go back over here and we're gonna go to switch view and we're gonna go to PBN. Okay, and then we're gonna load our PBN uh, as active. Then we're gonna click plugins and then we're gonna upload plugins and then I'm gonna go to my plugins and for maybe we want a contact form and easy privacy policy on all our PBN sites. So we would just click those add to queue and then you can see down in the bottom right successfully added to the queue for you to be able to upload multiple plugins to multiple sites very, very easily. And that's because you've tagged out your sites properly. You've uploaded your favorite plugins already and then you can work on a bulk scale of either adding or deleting or updating. So that's basically how the websites function works and the two views that you have.